It's FIFA 16. It's a new Inter Milan career mode. We're going to jump right in. We're probably going to choose the, uh, looks like the Champions Cup here. Mediocre teams in there. I think we can really put up a fight to a decent prize pool as well. Eight and a half million. So we're going to go ahead and select that. A lot of new faces with this Inter team. I mean, now we got Jovetic and Petasic and Melo and Kondogbio. A lot of big buys under Mancini. Are we going to keep that 4-3-3? Are we going to keep a lot more people in the middle? Uh, it really remains to be seen. I mean, we got other guys on the bench like Palacio and Guarín, Biabiani, Teles. Uh, a lot of decent options there. A lot of young guys as well. We got uh, Gunkuri and obviously Miranda. He's not really young, but uh, another big buy for us. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, fullbacks, a lot of left backs and right backs that so we'll have to you know be selling. Uh, we can't really get rid of our newer guys just yet, but. We're gonna have to get rid of a lot, like Medell, uh, 100,000. That's that's huge wages, and uh, he's gonna fetch a pretty penny, uh, 15 million euros. And uh, D'Ambrosio, he, he's quality, but he's he's not good enough for Inter, so he's probably gonna have to go as well. And uh, you see the waste of money in Perea there. But uh, just looking down the list, Nagatomo, he has to go. No, no way he's staying. He should have been long gone. And we're gonna go try to get rid of Virgil Alvarez to ship him back to the Premier League. Uh, along with him, you got guys like. Uh, Biabiani, 90,000, that's way too much. We have to ship him out of here if we can, even if it's on loan. But uh, after that, we're going to be looking at uh, Nemanja Vidic. He's way past it. We have to ship him out of here. That's way too many in wages. But uh, after that, uh, you got Perisic. We'll have to find a spot for him, whether it's on the wing or center attacking mid. But this right here is the man I really want, David Alaba from Bayern. Uh, about 35 million, but we definitely would like to secure that left back spot over Juan Jesus and put Juan Jesus kind of in a rotation with Miranda and Murillo. And I'm just going to go ahead after this and kind of look at other options. Felipe Anderson, Daniele Baselli, we're going to try to offload uh, Nagatomo uh, right here, get some wages off the books. Um, probably put out a nice uh, 12 to 15 million dollar uh, option out for him. Try to secure the, uh, the Italian youngster, really talented from Torino. Uh, Ricardo Sapinata, former Milan player, we're going to try to get him as a, uh, cr a playmaker up front. Uh, kind of replace Hernanes, who we shipped off to Juventus before the uh, transfer window closed. So, uh, I think 1 million in Ricky Alvarez, I think that's more than fair, so we'll see if we can get him. And I'm a huge Graziano Pele guy, uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Luca Toni, kind of similar to Icardi as well, but we think he'd make a nice backup to Icardi with Palacio replacing Yova teach for uh, backup duties. Uh, so we're going to try to offload somebody here. Um, let's try to send uh, Nagatomo. We'll put out another feeler for Nagatomo, 9 million. I doubt it will be accepted, but we will definitely save for Graziano Pele. And there's many as well. I was really impressed with him. I watched him not too long ago against Norwich. Uh, I just think he has uh, a real playmaker, some nice pace. He can play on the right, he can play in the middle. Another guy who can play on the wing. Uh, I definitely need a right midfielder, so we'll put out 16 million for him, and we'll see where we can go with that. And I'm just gonna simulate a little bit. And uh, it looks like uh, offer unacceptable from Southampton. Not really too surprised there. We're gonna try to put out another offer for uh, Pele. Kind of increase that. Let's see to uh, right about 14 million in Nagatomo. I think that's quite fair. We'll see if they can accept that. Okay, we're going to simulate a bit more, try to get to that first game for the preseason. We've got a lot of emails here, so uh, a lot of unacceptable or rejected offers here. We did get a, uh, an accepted offer for Gabbiadini, who I don't think I'll bring on. But uh, Douglas Costa, he's a huge guy that I really like out of Bayern. Uh, another Bayern guy, but uh, for the right wing, I think he would be perfect. So I'll go 16 million in Ricky Alvarez, who's estimated around 9 million. And hopefully we can bring in Douglas Costa, who I think is a real playmaker. And... A huge player in Germany. I had various other bids rejected, but I'm not really going to worry about those right now. Uh, but surprise, surprise, uh, Douglas Costa, they definitely want more. So I'm going to go up to 26 million in Ricky Alvarez and uh, I'm going to settle on that. But we're going to jump into the first preseason game against Monaco. And uh, we're actually going to kind of change up the uh, formation a bit. We're going to kind of put more uh, midfielders there. I'm going to play Jovetic behind Icardi. I think he's really creative. So I think Jovetic could hold his own there. We're missing a decent amount of players for the uh, from the international break too, so we'll have to make do while we can. And I can imagine I'm going to be shipping out a lot of these players as well, but uh, we'll try to see how they get on and how they play. I uh, definitely want to play Santo, and I want to play Telus as well. Um, Ilicic, I want to see how he plays, and obviously Petasic as well. Uh, 
I want to see what the uh, what the creativity looks like in the midfield. We have Kondogbia, Melo, Guardin, and uh, Medel. All of those really defensive-minded. So if we can't find a link between that whole back line and Jovetic and Icardi, there's going to be trouble this year. So uh, we'll have to see how that gets on. And I already see problems, too, with Ranocchia and Juan Jesus in the back. Uh, it's not going to be that way, but... Uh, We'll see how they play this game for uh, rotation spots, but getting into Monaco and Inter, uh, two big teams, uh, and as you can see, already mistakes in the early going in the midfield, so uh, giving up a chance right here, uh, just way too easy in the box, uh, and as we clear it here, goes to Kondogbia, who brings it up the pitch, he's going to have to be huge for us this year if uh, we want to do anything for a Scudetto, and uh, the flanks is going to be absolutely monstrous. We have to get on with our uh, our fullbacks and our uh, our wingers. And they have to be creative and get balls in the box for us or else we're going to be in trouble. And it's still early in the game. It's really a lot of Monaco and not a lot of Inter uh, in the early going. And you can see Silva he gets a ball in the box over here. And Ronokia just gets absolutely beat or Juan Jesus. Either one of them. They should not be losing that ball uh, in a chance early. And then you got Davida Santon to... Ilicic, who's on the right side instead of the left side. We're going to have to see because we don't really have a right winger. Um, but Icardi gets in the box and Icardi does his thing. And just a spectacular goal from Mauro Icardi. Hits it off the defender's arm. That would have been a penalty either way, but uh, you know he would have buried that, so it doesn't even matter. Nice to see him get on the board early. Want to see about 20 goals for him this year, no doubt about it, with Jovetic playing behind him. And speaking of Jovetic, he's actually going to help uh, with Lajlic and uh, set up an opportunity for Pedesic in the middle. Uh, nice to see him get a, get a ball through. It's going to win us a corner, so uh, Jovetic is going to take this corner, and he's actually going to whip it in. And there's actually going to be a nice opportunity here for uh, Felipe Melo. He's going to need to score some long-range shots this year. If, uh, at least four or five of them I'd like to see. Uh, but with him and Guardian and Kondogbia, you're going to see those shots raining in from 30 meters out. No doubt about it. So it's about halfway through the first half. Monaco's kind of settling in after, their, after our first goal. But we really want to see Inter kind of settle in and add to the lead that we do have. It's been a huge problem for us in recent years where we just can't settle in and kind of add on to the leads that we have and we always collapse and give up points but uh definitely want to see how we get on there and if we can enforce that. and Icardi just absolutely robs this uh fullback from the ball and he whips it in for Jovetic and Jovetic absolutely blunders he goes for it with his feet and not his head he really should have not headed that in over the goalie but uh it's mistakes you want to see in the preseason and not the regular season so we'll give him a free pass here for all he's done for us this game so far and you can see nearly a header from Monaco here, uh, almost beating Ranocchia in our defense for the second time in the air. But uh, a nice whipped in ball from Monaco and they get the deflection off the post and the ball somehow finds the back of the net after this first deflection. So, you know, it's, it's a goal that you hate to see, but at the same time, it's going to happen for us during the year. It's going to happen for them during the year, so we can't really sweat it too much. Uh, kind of the luck of the draw, I guess, but... Uh, we have some work to do now. We definitely have to uh, go more attacking-minded, maybe make some changes in the midfield or up front, uh, get more strikers on. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. I mean, of course, it happens, you know, in the uh, near the end of the first half. And as we approach the end of the first half, I think we've played well, probably the better side of the two. So we really want to put that pressure on and see where we can go for it from there. But even though we were better the first half, they're really taking bossing possession around here, kind of beating us left and right, which with each pass and playing from the back and holding in the midfield and just making the overall smart tackles and that's an absolute yellow card there really dumb challenge uh trying to be more aggressive but uh late in the first half that's not the aggressive type you want to be and just beating our defense really uh, making each right pass getting it to the midfielders and uh you're gonna get it to matinho here who's gonna put a nice ball through and just beat my goalkeeper beat my defense and we go down 2-1 to one after a promising first 30 minutes. So really not encouraging here to see uh, it happened again. You know, we get the 1-0 lead and somehow it's the 45th minute and we're down 2-1. to one. Just absolutely disheartening for the first preseason game. But uh, it really shows where we need to make those improvements. So we'll go on from there. And we're going to wrap up the first half here and jump right into the second half. 
uh, Fabinho and Silva on the ball and kind of get it back to Icardi, kind of playing a little bit too deep for my liking, but uh, Perisic loses it. He's, he's been okay for us this game, but uh, maybe he really doesn't have a position in this team. Maybe he does. Uh, it really remains to be seen. And even though Perisic isn't playing too well, I think that's a that's a foul there. Uh, even if it's not a yellow, I think there has to be something there. But uh, Monaco still, you know, pushing the ball forward on the counterattack, uh, holding possession, even though they have the lead. But uh, Felipe Melo does get it back and puts a nice through ball in for Teles, who's really not the most attacking type, but he's going to put a nice cross in here. Unfortunately, he doesn't find Icardi or Jovetic, but it is encouraging to see from the new lad. And we're desperately looking for that equalizer here, so the throw-in, uh, absolutely horrible, but we do get it back with Lilic and and doesn't really do anything with it. He kicks it right to the keeper, which I see a lot in this game. But uh, going forward, uh, it's more Monaco, and you know they're really settling in ever since they got that second goal. And who can really blame them? We're, we're really struggling in the back, and they're just their pass completion must be almost 80%. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it's not even the highest difficulty here, but. Another opportunity for Stefan El Sharawi, but uh, a really weak foul called here. Go figure the uh, Milanista gets the call, but uh, I'll go past that. But he puts a nice ball in, hits the post, almost beats Andanovic there. Uh, that's Moutinho, that is uh, not Sharawi. Uh, but like I said, it's it's more Monaco, more Monaco, more Monaco. Andrea Ranocchia, way too slow, can't even beat him. We are able to clear it here out of the box, thankfully. Uh, but now it's important to start the counter here, and this is why you need those fullbacks and those wingers to get the ball forward. And uh, it does go to Icardi, who really can't do anything with it, unfortunately. He's not really that creative type. He needs the ball. He needs service in the box and the ball at his feet. Uh, not really in the midfield. It's not how he works. But we really have to start making changes here. The uh, the 50th minute or the 60th minute or so. Uh, so we're going to try to maybe change the formation a bit, try to go a little more attacking. Um, yeah, we're going to do the 4-2-3-1. Uh, the we're going to put Palacio in there. We're going to put him on the left wing. I think that would work. Um, we're going to probably keep Felipe Melo in there. Possibly take off Jovetic. Uh, he might be struggling. I don't want to get him injured either um, because he is very brittle. Um, Lailic, he's played all right. We might keep him in there. Um, probably want to get Nagatomo in there even though we want to sell him. He's more of a, an attacking guy. So I think he could create some opportunities there. We're going to see what kind of impact our substitute's going to have here for the last 25 minutes or so. And we see Teles really working it up front, getting it to Pedesic. And Pedesic with a nice through ball to Teles. Not really the offensive minded lad, but he's going to whip it in. And it's amazingly saved by the goalkeeper. And possibly our last opportunity to really uh, seal any type of victory here. We're going to be looking for the draw from here on out. But uh, Monaco's going to regroup here. A little through ball to uh, Ranocchio, who takes care of it with no problem. And Monaco's really looking for the dagger these last few minutes, uh, putting through balls into the box. Here's another one, uh, nicely cleared out by Ronokia there, but they do get it back. And there's just gaping holes in my defense right now. Ronokia gets beat, and uh, thankfully, the best goalkeeper in Serie A, Samir Handanovic, he saves it. But uh, the damage isn't done quite yet because they're going to get another corner in. But Handanovic again to the rescue. Uh, like it's been really these last two or three years for Inter, and then of it's really stepping up. And really, we have to make something work here. Seven minutes left in this game, more or less. Uh, Juan Jesus, he's put really being pushed forward here. Pedesic in the middle, and uh, a really nice ball here from Pedesic. He's going to kind of do some little dance moves here, a nice spin move. Pedesic with the left foot here, he's going to whip it in and get it into the net with four more minutes left in this game. Pedesic, he equalizes it from the center attacking midfield spot, a, a spot where I really had doubts for him, but it's nice to see him get a goal here, and I don't expect him to be a huge goal scorer, more of a uh, 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 opportunity maker, somebody who can create chances uh, on that left wing, but seeing him do this in the center attacking mid, it's going to really make me rethink uh, and what I do this transfer window regarding bringing in a couple new midfielders. And I'm completely content in getting a draw here. I'm not going to really push uh, my players anymore. I'm going to bring in some reinforcements, take off Icardi. Uh, I'm going to probably bring in uh, D'Ambrosio and Brozovic, uh, two decent uh, defensive-minded players. Take off Telles, who's had, who's had a decent game. I'm going to move Nagatomo back to his natural left, D'Ambrosio to his natural right, and try to finish the game off that way. And uh, it was it was really a good game overall. I mean, we had some mistakes in the defense, but uh, the attacking looked good. 
I thought our midfield looked better than I expected. And Pedisic, he played decent. He didn't he didn't play well and absolutely got away with the penalty there. Thank God. Uh, substitute's not even on yet, and we're almost always giving away these points. But uh, as we go forward, we're gonna get the uh, the final call here, and not too not too long, but uh, really just trying to create something. It's not really gonna work with these guys on the pitch. But let me know what you think about this new FIFA career mode. Who should I get? Uh, who should I bring in? Who should I sell? Uh, is there any formation that you think I should play? And one last important thing before I sign off here. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video for a chance to win $20 worth of FIFA points. Yes, uh, for every video I put up, I'm going to be giving away $20 worth of FIFA points. Uh, open those packs. Or uh, use it for any other game that you'd like, uh, not just FIFA, but I like FIFA, I also like NBA 2K, but uh, definitely leave the like below with the comment.